Hey what's up everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this bag you see right here into this. So if you're looking to do this for yourself, you're gonna need some gloves to make sure that your hands are protected. You're also gonna need some beige leather paint. More specifically, I use the Angelus brand. You're gonna need something to apply the paint so you can either use a cotton dabber or you can use a sponge. I personally am gonna be using the cotton dabber, but as you can see, the sponge is very useful as well. I also got an all-purpose cleaner and conditioner just in case I need to uh, wash any excess paint that is dried on the purse, but we'll see if we need it afterwards. And of course, you're going to want to use a plastic bag or some newspapers to make sure that you don't stain the area we're going to be working on. Lastly, you want to have a leather preparer and deglazer like I have here from Angelus. It's very important because this is what's going to remove all of the paint that is currently in your bag, all of the shine, and this is what's going to allow the new paint to sit properly into your bag. If you don't have um, a the money or if you don't have a deglazer in hand you can easily use acetone which is nail polish remover and you can use alcohol so you can use either or just so you guys know this little bag that you see right here it took that whole bottle plus half of a bottle of alcohol so it does take a lot of time and it also takes a lot of um a lot of the substance to remove um the paint or as much of as much of the paint as possible. So when you're beginning to paint the bag, it's recommended that you apply small coats of paint into the bag and then you wait um, a period of five to 10 minutes before applying the next coat. As you guys can see, I kind of went ahead and I applied a thicker coat. It's my first time painting a bag. Um, but for next time when I do so, or for the other parts that I was painting, I decided to do much thinner coats. This one I had to like sort of spread out because um, I did use too much paint. So do keep in mind the cotton dabber does absorb a lot of paint and it, in a way, it doesn't sink. It doesn't like, um, the bag doesn't um, absorb the paint, it sort of sits on it. That's why they recommend for you to use um, thin coat. Okay you guys, so this is how the first coat looks like. As you can see, you can still kind of see the pink in between somewhere in the purse, but that's all okay. You wanna make sure that you take your time um, doing this process. Make sure um, that you rub any like weird streaks of paint just try to make it as smooth as you can every um every time you apply a new coat So when you're painting the bag, you kind of want to know what um, motion to do properly. You honestly can either do the circular motion or you can do it on a line. Just make sure that whatever you're doing, it's not, you can't see a pattern on the paint. So if you're doing uh, like a straight um, movement, you want to make sure that you have line streaks, um, paint, you know, paint line streaks. And you might want to like go in a circular motion against those to just blend them out. The whole purpose of this is to make sure that you properly blend the paint. You don't want it to look like it's painted.
So right now I want to talk about um, the duration of this process, how long it took me to paint this bag. If I'm being honest, it took me a whole three to four days. Um, I was on and off painting the bag. Um, you know, whenever I would come back from work, I would just add one or two coats, let it dry. The next day I would like fill in wherever I saw pink. Um, so this isn't something that I recommend doing overnight. I'm not sure if it would work, but it, I'm pretty sure it, the work will be done. But I think it's the most effective when you take your time with the purse and the handbag. Overall, what I love about this paint is, number one, it is water um, proof. Let me see my chart of that. It says it's water um, resistant. It has a water resistant finish, so if water splashes on it, it's not going to get sticky and the paint is going to come off. What I also love about this, and you guys are probably going to see it later because I'm going to show you the final um, results of the, of the paint, is that this paint is very shiny, but it doesn't look like regular paint shiny. This is specifically for leather, and I think this paint does a fabulous job with it. I think it's a great um, paint to use. So I'm going to put in the link below everything that I used and hopefully you guys can let me know you know if you try to paint on your own if you used any of these products and then just let me know how it turned out for you So one very important tip when it comes to painting the bag is that you want to make sure that you paint by section. So once you finish it, finish a section, let it dry for 5 to 10 minutes, move on to the next section. Let it dry for 5 to 10 minutes, then the next section. And that's how you'll be able to manage painting the bag um, nicely. Because let's say you paint the entire bag at once, if you lay it down, it's bound to have some imperfections. Some of the paint is going to come off uh, or it might rub off on the wrong places. One area might have more than the other. So you do want to be able to um, balance yourself a little bit.
Okay, you guys, so this is the last code. I did about five to six codes in total. And I do have to say, I'm very proud of my work. This is my first time painting. Although I'm sure there were some things that I wish I would have done differently. Like I do notice that uh, some of the paint, you do see the streaks. That's why I'm like being so obsessive about it in this video. Try to make sure you guys are better than me at this. Um, overall, I'm very proud of how it all came out. Like I've worn this bag a couple times on the streets and people love it and they really cannot believe I painted this bag. So overall, you do want to make sure you feel comfortable wearing it. Um, no one's going to notice those minor imperfections. So be proud of your work and be proud of yourself. What I also love is the fact that the paint is very cheap. And if you guys are feeling adventurous, you guys can always go back and do the same process again with a different color or even with the same paint. Um, I also want to let you guys know that um, the bottle I showed you was more than enough to paint the paint, uh, to paint the paint, <laughs> to paint the purse. And it even allowed me to do touch ups. So uh, I'm super excited about this. So for those who may be wondering why I'm painting over the hardware, I want to let you guys know it's completely okay. The paint is removable so you guys can easily use some alcohol and take out the paint from the logo if you guys have a YSL bag or whatever it is. Um, so don't be afraid, don't be shy, just paint all over <laughs> the logo and make sure you get those spots that you need to paint over.
Okay, you guys, so I decided not to use the cleaner and conditioner yet. I might in the future if I have to retouch the bag or if I just want to clean it. But um, if you guys want, obviously use it if you feel like it's needed. If you don't have, um, under the directions in the paint bottle, it says that you can um, use warm water and soap and just clean the bag after it's completely dry. So Okay, you guys, so this is the final product. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and like the video. You guys have an awesome day.